As you're creating and capturing more content and even starting to download more files and everything is all well and dandy until you start archiving it and maybe even referencing things from the past. Your desktop probably looks like this. Your desktop probably looks messy. Your hard drives probably look messy. But today we're going to fix all that. In this video, I'm going to share with you an easy way to keep your files organized to set you up for success and to make things a lot better for you in your digital life. Hey guys, I'm Mike nurse, photographer, and videographer. And on this channel, I help new hybrid shooters master their cameras and even creative workflows in order for them to capture and create their special moments with high quality techniques. This video is going to be an introduction to digital organization. And the framework for this digital organization that I have is based on Tiago Forte's PARA method. For some of you with rolling R's, PARA stands for projects, area, resources, and archive. I'm first gonna tell you the rules about my digital organization. Then I'm going to show you the file structure from scratch of how to build it. And number three, I'm going to show you how I have my files organized. Rule one, redundancy. I have to make sure that my files are somewhere else. If things are on my laptop, I make sure it's in the cloud. If I have files on an SD card, I make sure it's on my laptop and also the cloud or another hard drive. I have to be prepared for my SD card or even my laptop to fail on me. And I have to be able to recall my files from somewhere else should something happen. Next rule is I don't use the default folders. Besides the desktop and the download folders, I don't use the documents folder, the pictures folder, or the videos folder. With not only the nature of my creative work, but also the nature of my life, there are many things that do take pictures, videos, and documents all in one subject. For example, finances. I could have different kinds of folders, different kinds of PDFs, pictures for like screenshots. Moving on, I'm going to show you my desktop and I'm going to show you the backbone from scratch of how I would create my system. Let's say I got a new hard drive and let's just say I have the new SanDisk hard drive. So that's what it is. And I'll open it with command O. Okay, full screen. So we're going to make new folders. I'm using a Mac, so I'll be using the shortcuts Command Shift N for new folder. All right, so let's number it here because I'm going to have this organized per alphabetical. Here, we're just going to call this one space dash projects, two dash space area, three dash space resources, and then here we go with archive. All right, so now that we have this set up, let's just have a demonstration, shall we? For our first project, we're going to talk about organizing our digital life. Okay, then within this folder, I'm going to have my A roll, which will be this, my B roll, the music, which I will download later. And if I just so happen to have some other references, I could also have pictures and even thumbnail. Okay, cool. All right, let's go back, command up, command up. Okay, what qualifies as a project? A project is something that you are currently working on and working towards, such as making and editing this video. So that qualifies as a project. Or designing a poster for class, or editing a photo shoot that you had with a friend. Let's say photo shoot with Javon. And then this folder, we usually have our raw files, and Sony calls them ARW. Then we'll have our edits. So then that will be ready. And then we'll just, of course, sort the files and import them accordingly. And then here, let's just say poster for nursing class. And here we can have like references. Here we could also have pictures. And then we could also even have project files. Okay, go back, back. Area. Okay, what qualifies as an area? In areas folder, we can pretty much put any category that we are currently working on as an ongoing thing. So things that are ongoing can be like finances, our YouTube channel, nursing school, and let's just say you're in photography. Okay. And finances, we could say like our tax return of 2021. And we can put all our files in there whenever we download our PDFs or whatever statements that we have. Okay, that's enough. Let's go back, nursing school. You can have homework. And if you have certain nursing subjects, it could be like maternity, dialysis, ethics. And of course, homework could go into each of these categories. Dialysis homework, ethics homework, maternity homework. And then you can even further put all of these 
and put them into semesters. Semester one. And I did that by selecting all of them with command A and then putting them all into a folder with command control N. Okay, photography, you could put it as, you can have photography, we can put like presets. Our YouTube channel, we could have channel art, videos. Okay, so that's the gist of the areas. Resources, these are things that may not be ongoing, but they are things that you tend to reference from time to time. So let's just say you have books, PDF books, eBooks that you may have bought, purchased, in there you could have like nursing books, entrepreneur books, religious books. Perhaps on the creative side, you can put your fonts, maybe even sound effects. And in the folder, you can put like Foley, nature, probably put like ambient, atmosphere, or you can even put like music, or like cinematic, electronic, hip hop, things like that. Okay, going back up with command up. All right, the last folder, archive. This can pretty much house any of the main or parent folders from the other categories. So the folders that we are not using from resources or areas. And we can even drag all those folders into here. Like it's okay to have those main categories, but then all the subfolders that are within those categories, those can be moved interchangeably. So for example, those project folders that we were using in the beginning, let's just say once we finish those projects, where are they gonna go? Are any of our videos that we use in our projects going to be repurposed into B-roll? We could do that. So we can go back into resources, have a video folder and have B-roll and drag everything into there or let's just say even nursing school homework that we will never, ever go back to. So here at Archive, let's just say nursing school. Okay. When we're done with these project folders that we have here, we're done with the video of organizing our digital life, we're done with the photo shoot edits, and we're done with the poster for nursing school class. All right, so same thing. I'm gonna highlight them up with Command A, Command C, copying the files, going back, Archive, Command V, which is pasting them all. Organizing our digital life is a video for our YouTube channel. So the parent folder that I'm going to put here is YouTube channel. So I'm going to hit Command, Control, N, put YouTube channel. And we're going to go in there and further organize it because these are old videos. So we'll make a new folder called videos and we'll put them in there. Okay, back up here. Poster for nursing school class. We already have a parent folder called nursing school. Put them in there. Let's just say it was for semester one. As for maternity class. Okay, going back. Photo shoot with Javon. We're gonna make a new folder. It's gonna call it photography. And we're gonna put that photo shoot with Javon in there. Let's just say this was not a client shoot. We'll just say it was for friends. Friendly photo shoots. Okay, then we would go back. It's nice, simple, organized. Before I move on to show you how I organize my 70 terabyte hard drive in this same like manner, I just wanna ask if you're getting any value from the video and if you are to leave a like down below. All right, let's turn on that hard drive. So my OWC library, as you can see, it's not too far from what we set up before. In here, projects, I have it broken down to specific projects per software, so Final Cut Pro, Motion 5, Photoshop, we go into my area. I have, I'm currently working on Bisaya, learning how to speak Bisaya, which is a Philippine dialect. Michael Salazar Studios, I have my business card stuff, expense, gear insurance, invoice, logo. So in the next here, the YouTube folder, I have my different channels here and different stuff, YouTube channel art, end screens. Let's just say for the main channel, I have the videos that I posted. There's still some organization that needs to be happening in here but um, actually those could probably go into the archive folder as well. Okay, resources. Here I have audio, I have Peter McKinnon sound effects, I have business books in here, brand kit, so like my logo, motion graphics, sound effects, LUTs, emojis, overlays, and more organization that needs to happen here. 
Then I have a fonts folder, I have photos folder. Everything here is chronological. Videos folder, I have a B-roll folder. All the things that I've done and created through video. And also the kinds of cameras that I shot these videos on. Stock footage. And then the archive. Okay, so Lightroom, audio, brand kits, clients. So pretty much whatever project or whatever files are relevant, I just move them to the appropriate folder. So when the projects are done, I move them to area or I move them to archive. If there are reoccurring assets or resources that I have from video to video or project to project, I keep them in resources. But if I don't need those resources anymore, let's just say I give up photo video, hopefully that's not the case, I'll put them in archive. So earlier, you may have seen that I put projects and areas on my desktop. So again, there are some things that I may work off of on the road if I should disconnect my laptop from my hard drive, and it's pretty similar. So over here, I have projects that I'm currently working on, and, and these are mostly YouTube videos, so I don't have them separate folders of which project types per software. Except for this one, this one's photo. For the most part, because I have two terabytes of SSD storage on this MacBook Pro 13 inch, I will most often edit from this computer. And then once I'm done with the projects on this computer, I will move them over to my hard drive to an archive. So I can keep my space cleaner and also I can focus on the next project and not be bogged down by anything that's not relevant. If you haven't seen it already, I have a 70 terabyte hard drive built over here. And I also have other video workflows over here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.